say we're now in the slaughterhouse. I don't want to that. We're now in the slaughterhouse. He wanted to be in the video. Now in the slaughter the animals. Here they're processing the meat. Oh. Ahlam Wasalam. Welcome. Ahlam Wasalam. Everybody wants to be in five minutes of faith, though. MashaAllah. Okay? They're slaughtering the animals, processing the animals. Uh, some people, they slaughter the animals themselves. Others get the uh, workers here in the factory to do it. What's important is that the animal is slaughtered in the proper way. Okay? Whereas the animal should not be tortured. Uh, first and foremost, the one who is slaughtering the animal must say Bismillah, uh, the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and there's another type of dua that you can make, whereas a person may say Bismillah, um, oh Allah, this is from me, please accept this from me. Um, the animal should be thoroughly cut, the knife should be sharp, um, there should be no punishment or torture with regards to that which is done to the animal. The uh, juggler vein, the esophagus and all of these things, they should be thoroughly severed and cut. Whereas all of the blood leaves the animal um, and there's no uh, large amount of blood that remains into the veins and then into the meat of the animal. So once a person does this, then his uh, slaughter is complete. Now, um, from the wisdoms of Al-Uthiyah, first and foremost is to manifest the deen. Whereas it's something that Allah Azza wa Jal had legislated. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He laid down this act of worship um, and it was something that we took from our forefather, Ibrahim alayhi salam and his son, Ismail alayhi salam. Another wisdom behind this is to look after the poor and uh, less fortunate Muslims, to feed them, to give them things, to give them different types of benefits that come forth from the slaughtering. Another wisdom from the legislation of Al-Uhiyah is to uh, be affectionate and to be kind to your friends and to your loved ones by giving them meat, by donating things and giving them gifts from your slaughtering and sacrifice. All right, see, now that, that's a bakara right there. Okay, that is a cow. We have a cow. We have, that looks like a donkey or maybe even a mule. Okay, that's a baby cow right there, a calf. That's a larger one up there. I don't know if you can, I'm going to zoom in just a little. And we also even have a couple of horses and maybe a pony or two. Okay, however, as we mentioned before, the animals to be slaughtered are the behematul an'am. And we said this term in Arabic, behematul an'am means cattle, cattle and livestock. In other words, camel, cow, sheep, and goat according to the vast majority of the people of knowledge. Now that's another cow, mashallah. Looks like a milk cow. Looks like an American cow almost. Wow, look at that. That's a bull. Allah Akbar. I wonder how much this thing costs. Okay, so um, an another wisdom of the Opia is for a person to enjoy what Allah Azza has blessed them with. Uh, and to have good food, good drink, um, and to, you know, do a little extra during these four days, during the Yawm al Eid and during the three days of a Tashriq, which are the three legislated days to offer your sacrifices. Um, and we cannot forget, brothers and sisters, from the most important basic rulings of slaughtering and the most essential rules of slaughtering is that the slaughter is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And anything that is slaughtered for other than Allah, anything, anyone, a prophet or angel or a jinn, a spirit, anything besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is considered shirk akbar. It's a major act of shirk and is a means of apostasy. As the Prophet ﷺ has told us in the hadith of Ali ibn Abi Talib, عنه, the famous hadith in which he said, May Allah curse, or another translation, Allah curses the individual who slaughters for other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, um, on this episode, I wanted to actually have a uh, in-depth uh, or some in-depth footage of the actual slaughter hands-on. However, due to the crowd at the slaughterhouse and the lack of time, uh, we did what we had the ability to do. We asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from all of the Muslims their slaughtering, I mean, and to accept from all of the brothers and sisters on Hajj their pilgrimage, I mean, 
and allow us to continue to learn the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and implement the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, in everything we do, including Al Uthiyah and other things. Uh, until the next episode of Five Minutes of Faida, Jazakumullah Khairan, thank you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.